Can you dive into what's the second way that people in Webex helps make us a strategic coach? Yeah, for sure. And I think it actually builds on top of, like I said, it's they, they kind of influence one another, right? And, and the second level is that the team, right? So this is based on the qualities and characteristics of individual team members that are coming together, combined to predict behavior and performance of the team. Now, the reason why it goes from the individual to the team is because well, people don't typically work in a vacuum, right? We work in teams, we work in groups, and that means all these wonderful you know, different personalities that are highly predictable at the individual level, but potentially different at, between people, uh, all have to come together and deliver outcomes as a unit. I mean, it's kind of crazy when you think about it, right? You've got all these nice little individual quirks and so forth, and all of a sudden we've got to, you know, put our heads together and magically work. So team members will typically have different views on you know, what type of information is important? You know, how do we structure work? What type of work is important to do? You know, what information is important? Some people might be very strategic oriented. Some might be very uh, detailed oriented. Um, things like how do we offer help to one another? How do we critique and problem solve? All of those things uh, are potentially actually quite different. So HR's job is more and more similar to the, the, the at the individual level is that advising leaders and teams on how different people can come together and work together to get the results. That strategic advisor once more, but at that group level. So they really need to understand high performing team theory and personality theory that comes together. 